Hey there, welcome back to another Locked On NFL Insider Report. I'm your host, Kainani Stevens. We're joined by our Locked On NFL Insider, Isaiah Stanbeck. Thank you for joining us once again. It's been a busy Monday so far, or Sunday night into Monday, I should, should say. A lot of coaches losing their jobs. One of the more surprising ones is, at least for me, was Brian Flores in Miami. I mean, not less than 12 hours after he beat New England, which he's done pretty handily and not an easy thing to do while he's been with the Dolphins. Um, he got his pink slip. He's got his walking papers after a winning season for them. Of course, they came up short when missing the playoffs. Um, what was your immediate reaction? I was a little bit surprised to see this. Yeah, hey, I was surprised to see this as well. And it was actually pretty discouraging. Uh, being a former player uh, underneath Brian Flores, he was an assistant defensive coach um, during my time in New England. And this is a man of uh, high ca- uh, high character uh, and, and somebody who's a family man, somebody who knows football and loves football and has a positive effect over his players. And when he was when he was pre- presented the opportunity to go down and be the head coach for the Miami Dolphins, I was elated for him. Uh, he was going down into a situation that he had to simply restore this entire – not only just team, but organiza- organization. He was he was tasked with creating a culture and creating a winning culture, and he inherited a, a, a historically bad team. And he did a great job during his time there. And it's really unfortunate and disheartening that they are now releasing him after having a winning record during his time there. Over the last three, he was there for three seasons. Over the last two seasons, he has a record of nineteen and fourteen. He went ten and six in twenty twenty and tw- and nine and eight. Obviously, this year in twenty twenty one finishing up the season, beating his former coach, his head coach, Bill Belichick, in which he is the only coach in the Bill Belichick era since 2000 to have a winning record, which is four and two against the New England Patriots. There's really no reason nor understanding as to why Stephen Ross, the the CEO of of the Miami Dolphins, has decided to relieve him of his duties. A lot of people are scratching their heads right now and trying to wonder exactly what direction is Miami trying to go. Certainly for the fans, I'm sure it's frustrating as well. The owner, Stephen Ross, came out and said that uh, they were not, they didn't have a coach in mind. There's some rumors out there that they may be going after Michigan's head coach in Harbaugh. Um, The owner has come out and said, no, that's not the case. Do we believe that right now? I can't say that I do. And you know, obviously, we'll, the coming weeks will help, will help us understand this with a little bit more clear uh, <laughs> picture. But in terms of what how how he released uh, Brian Flores, and he made a statement today in um, in the exiting uh, statement stating that he key dynamics of our football organization weren't functioning at a level I want it to be at, and felt the decision was in the best interest of the Miami Dolphins. That's coming from an owner who is the, one of the highest donors to the University of Michigan and just happens to be that there's rumors swirling around the fact that Jim Harbaugh might be leaving University of Michigan. So we will see exactly what's the next move. Um, but as of right now, the rest of the league, the NFL, the players are all questioning as to what is the real reason why Brian Flores is no longer the head coach of Miami. Certainly smells a little fishy because, I mean, if you're getting rid of such a good guy, a good culture guy, you've had winning seasons to it has to be for an upgrade, you would assume. So obviously we'll have to wait and see if it actually is Harbaugh, who's, you know, a successful coach. But we don't know that right now. What we do know is that the GM, uh, Chris Greer, is still going to stay with the team. What could they possibly be trying to bring in here? Obviously, they brought in a good culture guy. Would it be maybe an offensive mind? I would assume at this point it has to be somebody who's offensive minded. Um, He inherited, like I said, a bad, uh, entire bad, entirely bad team. Um, He was given a young quarterback and young Tua, who obviously was coming off injury and was trying to find his way in the NFL. So, one area that they need to obviously uh, take on head on is offense. And that's an area that was not his expertise. Uh, but this, this he, they, they are starting to build. They were starting to get some really good. They have a good tight end, young tight end down there. Um, they obviously, too, are starting to figure things out. And again, these guys finished with a winning record over the last two seasons. So when you start looking for your next leader of your organization, you're going to look for somebody who's a winner. Brian Flores was that. You're going to look for somebody who has a high character and can't stay out of the media. Brian Flores is that. You're going to look for somebody who was respected by his players. Well, you were seeing a response on Twitter from players that played underneath him and guys that just around the league that are surprised. And you're also going to look for somebody who's going to pour into the community. I don't think that there's too many coaches around the league that have an investment into the community like Brian Flores. So at this point in time, I'm left baffled as to what it is that they're looking for. 
certainly some big shoes to fill. Obviously, the offense was a little murky. That whole two situation, he handled it as best you could, really, because it was it was tough and it will be tough for whoever takes over that job. Right. Um, obviously, Brian Flores is going to be at the top of the list for any of these coaching vacancies, as we've discussed. I mean, he's a great high character guy. He's a great defensive guy, and he's had a lot of success against Bill Belichick. Is there anywhere right now, obviously, of the openings we know where maybe he'd be a good fit? It's really kind of it's, it's kind of surprising right now as to where he might end up. I mean, you start thinking about Minnesota, uh, the opening down there with Zimmer Lee leaving. Uh, Minnesota is a defensive team, so obviously, but they're coming off of Zimmer being a defensive-minded coach. So, do they want to go back in that direction? You look at Denver, and Denver are they going to go with an offensive coach because they need to figure out the quarterback situation and what they're doing um, on that side? So, most of the league is really starting to look towards offense now. One area that you might want to look at is Jacksonville. That's a short, you know, hop, short hopping and skip away from Miami and there might be an opportunity for him there um, but obviously again you have to raise a question mark is, are they going to look towards offense obviously with their young quarterback certainly and then Miami as we discussed this isn't a complete rebuild situation that the the structure is there the wins are there um, maybe not the easiest division to play in but what's it going to be do you think that the new coach is going to want to keep Tua in line as the way they have this or do you think maybe they'll try to bring in their own guy it's going to be very interesting. I, I don't believe that the organization will allow them to come out and, and, and displace Tua. They've invested so much into him. They took such a big risk on him. I believe that they're going to give him every opportunity to be successful, which is what mm-hmm. leads me to believe that they're going to bring in a coach who is offensive or slash special teams minded um, that will that will be in, in line, obviously, to lead him to be a successful quarterback in this league. All right, Isaiah, thank you for that. Um, Brian Flores probably have a bunch of job opportunities. And as for yeah. what Miami going to do we really do not know because this kind of came out of the blue for us but that's going to do it for us here today he's isaiah i'm kainani stevens thank you for watching locked on nfl